The ruin of the castle Friedstagen is one of three castles of the district of Jablonik N. N. We don't know exactly when it was grounded. Nor when the domes of Friedstagen was created. We know, however, that it was the property of the family of Mark Vardik. The owners of the castle were the lords of Drazis, 1363, 13 years later, 1376, lords of Biberstagen and that is for the castle Friedstagen is assumed to have relations with the family of Biberstagen. The castle is first mentioned in 1385 when Bohunik called Puklis of Friedstagen is mentioned in church sources. At the turn of the 14th and 15th century the castle was held by the family of Kamenek of Strizovice and Kakovice but it was owned as early as 1409 by Bohush of Kovain. He was a Catholic and therefore the castle was besieged in August 1432 by Hussites under leadership of Jan Kapik of Sani. Bohush of Kovain made however an agreement that he wouldn't talkie any hostile actions against the Hussites and later he even converted to Utraquists. In 1448 he helped George of Podobrady to conquer Prague. Then it was Jan Zajic of Hazenberg who became a bailiff of his property in 1460 after his death. Then several lords changed in taking over this property. In 1540 lords of Vartemberg bought the castle and the estate. It was however for a short time only, as Adam of Vartemberg took part in the resistance movement of the Czech estates against the King Ferdinand I in the period of 1546-47 when he lost his estates, including Friedstagen. A new poner of Friedstagen was Jan of Opiarstorf, who bought it together with Seski Dub from the king in 1556. He sold it however by parts which ended the former function of the castle as an estate, as well as a guard castle. When the Opiarstorf were selling the castle in 1591 to Zikman Smariki of Smarais, it was already inhabitable. Friedstagen was a typical rock castle and it dominated both in direction to Nokovais and above all to the Gizera Valley, along an old path from Ternov to the north through the village Friedstagen, former Zasada, where there was a yard providing for basic living for castle inhabitants. The entrance into the castle is not exactly known. It is believed to be on the right of the tower through ground floor of the palace itself, a castle lord's residence. As there was little space in the castle the whole barrier consisted of a number of small rooms carved out in the rock. A special attention should be paid to a small room carved out south from the main tower where a niche in the wall indicates a former chapel and this room as referred to 1691 was used even long after being left.